Inhale with Steve Ross. Good morning and welcome to Inhale. I'm Steve Ross. We're going to do some yoga. Stand up. <laughs> Step the feet apart and hang forward. What are you waiting for? Hopefully not for me. Just relax and breathe. If you don't feel anything though, you can interlock the hands behind your back and drop them over your head. At least you'll get a little shoulder stretch out of it. Just hurt your low back, you're in trouble. But if it does, you can bend the knees a little bit. Okay, bring the hands down. Keep the left hand on the floor. Right arm straight up in the air. Roll the chest open. Look up toward the right fingertips. You can walk the left hand over towards the right foot if you want a little more twist. And other side, same thing, right hand down, left arm up this time. All right, bring that hand down. Roll all the way up, slowly. Step the feet together. Let's party. Palms together. You look like you're ready to party. Inhale the arms up, drop the head back. Fortunately, I don't care. Exhale, come all the way forward. Hands are down, head is up, jump back or step back. And come down slowly. Arch up, upward facing dog, stay here. Legs are straightened off the floor, but if for some reason they're on the floor, the reason generally is because you're tired <laughs> or you're lazy. That's okay. Whenever you're ready, push back, downward facing dog, tuck the toes under, walk the feet in toward the hands a little. Try to flatten the back by really pushing away hard with the hands so the Shoulders and upper back are getting a nice opening stretch. Mm-hmm. Jump both feet or step the feet up to the hands. Ah. Roll all the way up. Stretch up. Arch back a little bit. Exhale, come all the way forward. Hands down, head up, jump back or step back. And bring it down. Arch up, up dog. And push back, down dog. Mm -hmm. Right leg up in the air. Push the left heel down. Keep the legs straight, arms straight. If you want, though, you can roll the right hip way open and then bend the right leg and kind of drop it behind your back. Just for a thrill, but keep the arms very straight. And swing the foot up to the hands. Come into a crescent pose. Straighten the back leg as much as you can. Stay on the ball of the back foot. And bring the hands down to the floor. Step the foot back. 
come down. And up, up, dog. Push back down, dog. Left leg up in the air. Again, you can bend the leg if you want and kind of drop it behind you. The left leg, that is. And swing the foot up. Press and pose, other side. Looks so good, there's nothing to say. Bring the hands down, step the foot back. Come down. And up, up, dog. And back, down, dog. Jump the feet up to the hands. Let's not forget the chair pose. Wouldn't want to do that. Arms up very high, bend the legs. Mm -hmm. Bring the hands down, straighten the legs. Yeah, lift the head, jump back or step back. Come down. Arch up, up dog. And push back, down dog. Right leg up in the air. What's that? Keep the right leg just like it is. Very slowly bend the arms and sink the upper chest and then the hips down toward the floor. When you get real close to the floor, drop the leg down and arch up. That looks cool. And push back, down dog. Let's do the other side. Leg is way up in the air. Try to make it slow. Come down. And then drop the leg and arch up. And push back, down dog. Jump both feet up, have a seat, turn to the side. We're going to try this one, I don't know why. The hands are about a foot behind the butt. Push the feet flat, hips up, chest up, head back. That was fun. Come down. Turn around. Cross the legs. Jump the seat back if you can. <laughs> and then arch up. That was interesting. Push back. Down, down. Jump the feet up to the hands. Roll all the way up, stretch up. Arch back, maybe. Exhale, come all the way forward. Just hang forward and relax. Keep the neck relaxed and just hang out. We're going to do more warm-up yoga style when we return, which will be soon. Stay with us. We're back. So roll all the way up, stretch up. Arch back a little. <laughs> Exhale, come forward. Hands are down, head is up, jump back or step back. 
Bring it down slow, whatever it is. Inhale and arch up. Exhale, push back, down dog. Raise the right arm up in the air, turn to the side. Incline, one arm style. If it's too much, bring the left knee down. If you need more, raise the right leg up. Jump to the jam, boogie woogie, somehow. Bust the dialect, I'm the man in command. Come flow with the sounds of the mighty mic master. Rhyming on the mic, I'm bringing like a sucker to disaster. Boo cool ducks, but I still rock Nike with the razzle dazzle. Star, I might be. And come down, do the other side. If you want to do a push up in between because you have way too much energy, go ahead. Feel the vibe. Not much of a threat with you guys today. <laughs> Love that funky one. All right, bring the hand down to the floor. Slowly come all the way down. And arch up, up dog. And push back, down, down. Right leg up in the air. Swing the foot up. Crescent pose. From here, slowly hook the left elbow over the front leg into a prayer style twist with the palms together and balancing into it, or bring the left hand to the floor, right arm up in the air. If you're bringing one hand down, one arm up, make sure you really extend up with the right hand. If you want to make it a lot easier, bring the left hand to the inside of the front foot. Then the balance becomes very easy. Okay, bring the hands down, step the foot back. <laughs> Come all the way down. Arch up. Yeah, man, push back. Down. Left leg up in the air. Swing the foot up. Crescent pose. What's happening over here in the front row? You guys are having way too much fun. If you want to learn more about yoga, log on Oxygen Online or click on Inhale. If you want to learn about more fun, talk to these two. They obviously know what to do. From here, hook the right elbow. Come into the twist, other side. <laughs> okay, bring the hands down, step the foot back, bring it down, and arch up, and push back, down, down. Jump the feet up to the hands, sit down. Turn to the side. I don't know why, I just feel like hurting you. So come up into the boat pose. <laughs> now if this is too hard on your back or stomach or whatever, you can always bend the legs. That makes it easier. But let's go for the full-blown fun thing. First you cross the legs, hands are down on the floor. Try to lift the butt off the floor just for a second. And then come back down if you actually made it up. Come back into the boat pose. Mm -hmm. Once was enough. Cross the arms over the chest. Lean back. Not too far. Don't touch the feet and don't lie down.
All right, come on up. Turn around. Cross the legs, hands down. Lean forward, jump back. And arch up. Push back, down dog. Right leg up in the air. Swing the foot up. Turn the back foot down. Go right into the warrior to the side. Warrior two for those who know that particular drama. Uh-oh. <laughs> Keep the front leg bent. Bring the right hand down to the floor, left arm straight up in the air. And reach underneath the front leg with the right arm, grab the left hand or wrist behind your back. Much as you can, keep rolling the left shoulder open. And bring the hands to the floor. Step the foot back. <laughs> Come down. Arch up. And push back down, dog. I'm going to go investigate what's happening over here. Left leg up in the air. <laughs> Swing it up, straight into the warrior, other side, turn the right foot down, keep the left leg bent, top of the left thigh is pretty much level to the floor, pretty much means pretty much. Right leg is straight, arms are straight, look out over the fingertips. Bring the left hand to the floor. Right arm straight up in the air. And reach underneath. Grab the right hand behind your back. That was exciting. Bring the hands down to the floor. Step the foot back. Sink down. Arch up, up dog. Bring the knees to the floor and push back into the child's pose. And just relax here for a moment. Stay tuned for more on Inhale. Inhale will be back in a moment. For little girls. We're back, and I hope you're happy about it. Roll all the way up, stretch up. With a little life. <laughs> Exhale, come forward. Just a little. <laughs> Give us 10%. Lift the head, jump back or step back. <laughs> come down. Arch up, up dog. And push back down. We'll give you a break. Jump both feet up to the hands. We're going to do a standing bow. So roll up slowly. Once you're here, grab the inside. I don't know if this is a break or not. Grab the inside of the left foot. The left hand, right arm is straight up in the air. Kick back and lean forward. Go slow. Some interesting variations going on. 
Interesting as in not really the same pose we're talking about. All right, come on down. That was pretty good. Let's do the other side. Grab the inside of the right foot. Inside. Left arm straight up. Kick back and lean forward. Come down, hang forward. That's nice. Hands are down, lift the head up, jump back or step back. Come on down. And arch up, up dog. Push back, down dog. Right leg up in the air. Swing the foot up, crescent pose. Seems to me you lack balance. We'll give you another chance. Lean out slowly over the front leg. Come up into the balance pose. Arms are in front of you or behind you. You can always sink the chest down a little more. Leg up a little higher. Ooh. That's enough. Bring the hands down. Leg up in the air. Standing splits. Keep the right hand or fingers on the floor. Raise the left arm up in the air. Roll the upper body open. You don't have to look up. It makes it a little more intense if you do. Uh-huh, bring it down, feet are together, hands down. Roll all the way up, stretch up. You can go back a little if you want. Exhale, come forward. <laughs> Lift the head, jump back or step back. Come down slowly, if you get tired you can bring the knees down. That makes it much easier. Then inhale and arch up, up dog. Exhale, push back, down, dog. Left leg up in the air. Swing it up. Crescent pose. Slowly lean out. Come on up. you better put them hands together and have a Holy Ghost party with me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm more than a conqueror. Can I get a witness up in here? And bring the hands down, leg up. Again, standing split. You can roll the right hip open if it helps. Try to keep the legs very straight. Left fingertips stay on the floor. Right arm up in the air. Roll open as much as you can. Okay, come on down, feet together, hands down. Again, roll all the way up, stretch up. Arch back maybe a little bit. Exhale, come forward. Hands down, head up. 
Jump back. Come down slow. And arch up, stay here in the up dog. You may have noticed we haven't been doing many chair poses. There's a reason for that. You'll find out the reason right now. Tuck the toes under. From here, the hands and feet stay pretty much where they are. And you push back like that. The knees go out to the side. And then you come up like that. So you push back and come up. Push back, come up. At least five. Get creative. Not with the counting, with the posture. This is very bizarre looking. All right, push back, down dog. But entertaining. Right leg up in the air. Swing the foot up. Turn the back foot down. Straighten the right leg. Keep both hands on the floor. So you're just leaning out over the right leg, which is straight. So is the left one. Here comes the good part. Keeping the left hand on the floor, raise the right arm up in the air. It's a twisting triangle. Now, if this is hard for you, keep the left hand to the inside of the foot or bring it on the shin. If it's easy, bring the left hand to the outside of the right foot, which is the front foot. Try to roll the right shoulder and chest open. Look up. Okay, bring it down. Step the foot back. Come down. And arch up. Push back. Left leg up in the air. Swing it up. Other side, turn the right foot flat, both legs straight first, so you're just laying out over the front leg. In this case, your left one. And then keeping the right hand on the floor, raise the left arm up in the air this time. Right hand down, left arm up, look up. Roll the chest open. How's that? <laughs> All right, bring the hand down, step the foot back, come down, and up, and back, down, dog. Stay here. And jump both feet up to the hand. Roll up. Stretch up, arch back a little bit. Uh-huh. And exhale, come all the way forward. Inhale, we'll be back in a moment. Stay in this position. Good morning, nice to see you again. So, from here, bring the legs wide apart as you can. Once you got that, walk yourself out as far as possible. Now, many of these people have done this for a little while, so a little while meaning all of their lives. So if you're not flat down with your chest on the floor, what can you do? You just do the best you can. If you're up here and you're struggling, that's normal. Most people's legs are here and it's tight, whatever. If you want to make it a little bit easier, you can get a, a cushion, something not real soft like a normal pillow, but like a couch cushion, and put it under your butt, which will tilt the pelvis a little bit and give you more leverage to come forward. You can try that. But otherwise, the best thing to do is you just get in it and hang out and breathe. We're going to hold 
live for a thousand years. Keeping the legs where they are, go straight out over the right one, extending the right heel. See if you can kind of bring the chest, center of the chest towards the knee, that's what you're aiming at. Whether you actually hit it or not doesn't matter, but you're moving in that direction. Keep the breath moving, use the breath to relax into it more and more. Don't try and force it, don't be violent with it, otherwise you get hurt and it's not worth it. If you just relax into it using the breath, that's a good thing. So every time you exhale, you melt a little bit more. And slowly walk yourself over to the other side. One side's always tighter than the other. I won't go into why. Why? Who cares? You just go into it. If you were doing it, this on your own, without the peer pressure, you would ideally hold the tight side a little bit longer. You don't try and force it open, you just hold it longer. Hatha yoga is to balance both sides of the body and thereby the brain and the nervous system so your mind gets quiet. That's what it's about. That and a million other things, but... All right, come on up. Bring the legs back together. And then we're gonna do the frog. Why? Because no one likes it. It's good to push past your likes and dislikes. So, the knees are very wide. The feet are as wide as the knees. You can kind of push the butt back towards the feet, which will give you a nice feeling. And with this music, it's like doing the frog in a western movie or something. Just pretend you're a frog, a desert frog. A ribbit. If you don't feel this, because you're extremely open in the hips, you can come up like that and push down and back. But most people don't need that. Just hanging out is more than enough. If you start crying or laughing uncontrollably, that's a good sign. It's yoga induced insanity. Take, for example, Regina, who's laughing completely out of context, just coming apart at the seams and having a good time doing it. All right, slowly come out. I would suggest coming forward is the easiest way to get out of it. But so far, my suggestions have caused you <laughs> whatever. Sit up. 
Bring the left leg straight out in front of you. Bend the right leg so the sole of the right foot is to the inside of the left thigh. If you want, you can grab the left butt and kind of pull it out to the side a little bit and then inhale the arms up. And exhale out and down. You can grab the foot or however it works for you. But drop the head down and just relax into it. Slowly come up. Other side, same thing. Straighten the right leg, bend the left one. Inhale the arms up. This time make a dramatic descent with the arms like this. Just hang out and breathe. Long, slow, deep breaths. Make sure your neck is not tensed because you're thinking. That's what thinking does. It tenses you up. What most people call meditation is really concentration. You're focusing on one thing. But real meditation is no mind. There's no thoughts. When there's no thoughts, there's just bliss. It's your thoughts that drag you out of this moment and drag you into the past, which is completely dead, or the future, which is a projection of a completely dead past. So if you want to stay present in this moment, you can't think. And yoga is designed to make you not think, although most people in the West use it as a form of exercise. It's way beyond that. Way beyond that. That's nice. Come on up. Spin around and lie down. Spread out, get nice and comfy, turn the palms up. Take a very deep inhalation up to the top of the lungs and hold the breath. And then let it go. And just start to relax now. We'll deepen the relaxation in a moment when we return, which will be very soon. 10 only on oxygen. And we're back. We're back to relax. So hopefully you're already flat on your back, spread out. I'm just going to take you through a quick, uh, what's the word? I don't know. We'll just go through the body very fast. So starting with the left foot, just bring your awareness to your left foot. And then bring your awareness to your right foot. Any sensations that arise when you bring your awareness there, it's fine. Don't try and change anything. 
Bring your awareness to your left calf and knee and ankle. And right calf and knee and ankle. And left thigh. Just be aware of the left thigh completely, any sensation. And right thigh. And the lower abdomen, just notice it, feel it. And it wraps around the waist and the low back and the waist, just notice it. And bring your attention to your ribs and chest. If there's any tense muscles or energy or contracted energy, just let it go. Be aware of your mid and upper back. And your left shoulder. And right shoulder. Just be aware of the entire left arm, including the hand. Just relaxed and open. and the entire right arm, including the hand and fingers. Sense or be aware of your throat and neck. And your face, your chin, your lips, the jaw, cheeks, eyes, forehead, scalp, the whole face. Just be aware of how it feels, see if you can relax it. And when you get fully relaxed, feel the entire body all at once. And then take a long, slow breath all the way to the top of the lungs. And let it go. Roll slowly to one side and then prop yourself up into a sitting position. So come all the way up, sitting, sitting straight. See if you can maintain that same feeling of euphoric relaxation. If you can do this for any length of time, at some point, when you get very still and very relaxed, ask yourself, what am I? You can do it right before you go to sleep at night or as soon as you wake up. And this will take you somewhere deep. What or who am I? But we don't have the time to do it now, so bring the hands together, and we say namaste.